Cooper into traffic straight away, down he went and the referee says it wasn't a fair shoulder to shoulder on the part of Jackie Tyrrell and it's going to be a free to Galway and a chance for them then to get to within a point of Kilkenny once again Joe Canning will take it of course if you join us late the story about Joe Canning which was hush hush for much of the week is that uh, he didn't train for a week because he had a knee injury I think it's the right knee which is giving him trouble he's playing with a pain killing injection there he is, poised and ready, having scored one point from a free already. And a little bit further out from where he scored the equalising point at the end of the draw match, he's put it over the bar, beautifully done. Well, well, that's a fabulous strike. You know, I don't. I've said this before in the commentary, but those frees are not easy. You know, out there, wind swirling round, and you know, a super strike and straight off the black spot again. And Kilkenny went short from the puck out to Jackie Turrell. This one lands in the hands of Tony O'Gregan, trying to get the hand pass outside. If it's slack, breaks down. Henry Shefflin takes, puts over the bar, playing on the 40. Henry Shefflin's now got three. That's the first one to come from play, and Kilkenny by two, four-two. 14 minutes are gone. Yeah, you're definitely seeing a big um, change in Kilkenny's forwards. They're tackling much harder. That was a mistake, though, again, by Tony O'Gregan. You know, he should have really got the hand pass away. And you can't be gifting scores like that to Henry Shefflin. Well, James Skehill is very much in that team because the management wanted to use his uh, very, very good puck outs. He's usually so good at placing it and keeping it away from Kilkenny's main influential figures. That time it was Joe Canning trying to take it in his stride. He felt it went off a Kilkenny player last, Henry Shefflin, but it's, it, in uh, fact, is going to be a Galway line ball. Just got a bit annoyed initially when he thought the decision wasn't going his way, Joe Canning. Line ball to be taken by Andy Smith. 29-year-old from Fort Dumna cuts it up beautifully, but back there, sweeping, Brian Hogan. Nobody on him. Damian Hayes has gone back around midfield. He's left a loose player back at the back for Kilkenny and they're making use of that pressure on Kevin Hines now here he's done very well so far in all the major championship matches Tony O'Gregan now big huge clearance and Hayes steps back into the forward line and he tries to take on his man it's still Damian Hayes here against Paul Murphy the hand pass to Niall Burke shooting this one waywardly and across the face of goal and well to the right and wide and it stays Kilkenny in front by four points to two. Yeah, Damien Hayes was held up there, but I wonder was he fouled? You know, it looked to me like looked like he was fouled there. If you watch it here, when he gets possession, he turns to try to go for the goals, and well, maybe not. It was Paul Murphy just kept his hands out and good, good defending. And Niall Burke, you know, had a good chance there. Should have really put it over as well. Well, it was uh, Jackie Turrell who was marking Damien Hayes during the drawn match this time. Change of marking as Niall Dunny who plays it down. Once again, it's taken neatly here by Jackie Turrell. And back into the forwards it comes. In towards Henry Sheffley. He broke it down, intended for a colleague, but instead it's come out here and it's coming away here by Johnny Cohen. Trying to drop it into the forwards there, in towards Damian Hayes in there as well. James Regan in the red helmet comes out to Hayes. Makes a bit of space for himself. Back as far as here, Latanian from 65 metres out. Let's it in dangerously! of the match well they managed to keep one on one there and when it came into David Burke he managed to finish TJ Reid at the other end has put it over the bar and got a point back but a goal coming after 16 minutes for David Burke who certainly lit up this match and the teams are level Galway a goal and two Kilkenny five points yeah David Burke made a great run there from off the ball in over the top and I'm not sure if he, you know, if he knew what he was doing it's a great finish but you know, I, I'm not sure if he did but it ended up in the back of the net but interestingly Kilkenny poked it out straight away picked it out in the net Tommy Walsh played a long ball and TJ Reid caught it over the bar great start to this game I thought it was very interesting that Galway managed to bring back their two corner forwards and leave David Burke in there in the full forward position right now it's Richie Hogan here surrounded TJ Reid tries to take it manages to take it away here 22 metres out from the Galway goal has to get rid of it back there here Latanian back there as well as Joe Canning two men with red helmets into the forwards it goes this time in there as far as Cyril Donnelly in touch it with Hayes another one David Burke's got a second Two goals in the space of a minute by David Burke. 
2 2 to five points. It's Galway by three. Jared, that's as good a goal as you're ever going to see in an All Ireland final. Two brilliant passes. Damien Hayes, what he does so well. First of all, Cyril Donnellan, great catch, lays it off. But look at Damien Hayes, straight away switches the play, and David Burke puts it away. And Joe, what a passage to play there. You know, Richie Hogan had the ball that was taken off him. Uh, Earl Tanyan numbered the goal with uh, players back. And look where Joe Canning was, delivered a long ball from about 40 yards from his own goal. What a goal by Galway. Galway getting the two goals. 2-2 two, two to five points. Goal, Kilkenny's defence absolutely ripped apart there by the sheer movement of Galway. And it wasn't Joe Canning, he was back in midfield at that stage. Back comes Owen Larkin. Kilkenny now needing a boost. Larkin, the captain, stopped there by Scahill. And in it goes, Richie Power. In the 19th minute, it's Richie Power who scores for Kilkenny and makes it 2-2 to 1-5. And it looks, Richie Power took a stroke after that, but he got up straight away there. Look at this now, Owen Larkin straight through, maybe could have passed it out to the left. Good save by James Scahill, but Richie Power, like all good corner forwards, in on top of it and flicked it into the net. Well, what James Scahill wasn't able to clear it away properly here once he made this save, Michael. Well, I think it was, you know, he hadn't much choice there. I think Jerry came out his head, he saved it, and it just bounced out to that angle. James McGrath in there immediately to consult two of his umpires behind that goal yeah, I thought, at the I thought, end. I thought Ireland Italian might have been involved in something there. It'll be interesting to see if the umpire saw something. But Richie Power, in fairness, got back up on his feet straight away. Richie Power, the goal scorer, then fouled. And the referee now uh, having showing a yellow card to James Skettle. Got a yellow card as well in the drawn match. Well, you were looking at uh, another player, I think. Yeah, well, I wasn't sure now, you know, I was watching the goal, but uh, what a few minutes of play. Just see James Cahill makes the save there. It's yeah, it wasn't uh, James Cahill. No, it should have been Irlitania. Irlitania. It was Irlitania, but then Cahill came out after. But Irlitania definitely was involved. Well, Tanyan lucky not to get a yellow card there. It didn't get anything. Back come Kilkenny again. Tommy Welch. Well, the body blow of the two goals, the perfect response then, that goal by Richie Power, and we've got quite an All-Ireland final, as we anticipated. Team's level. It's a great passage of play, though, uh, Ger, you know, three, three goals, one maybe a little bit lucky, but the other two, uh, you know, great, particularly goal was going, what a finish, and really this game, you know, it's, it's full of beans, even on the sideline there, you can see the tension is rising again, and it was an absolutely brilliant atmosphere. When you think about it, the Leinster final, which uh, Galway won handsomely, then that drawn match, but apart from uh, the Leinster final, which they won by about ten points, apart from that, they very, very little between these teams. Thrilling fair. Packed house, Croke Park looking magnificent. It's got to be a line ball to Kilkenny. And it'll be TJ Reid taking this one. Straight to Irlitanian. Lucky to get away without a booking. In came Owen Larkin, and Owen Larkin flashes it over the bar. His first point. Got two points in the draw matched three weeks ago. He's now made it 1-6 uh, to 2-2. Two, two or Kilkenny by one. Yeah, great hook there by Richie Hogan, working hard like all the Kilkenny forwards are doing. So I just watch him coming out here. Great hook, early Italian never saw him, and Owen Larkin overpicked it and a simple score over the bar. Seven scores so far for Kilkenny, four for Galway, but those two Galway goals, both scored by David Burke, crucially important. Pressure on, Jackie Turrell once again with Cyril Donnellan over there. In came Damien Hayes. Jackie Turrell has it. Pursued by those two Galway players. Needing a little bit of help, Hayes pinching it, knocking it back into space here, intended for David Collins. Running all the way back is Andy Smith, further back, and he's given it away here as far as Richie Parr, the Kenny's goal scorer, from a huge distance out. How about that for a score? That's magnificent. Goal and a point by Richie Parr, and people were saying, you know, he was lucky to stay in the team if Colin Fennelly got dropped, if uh, A. Ogilvy got dropped, he could have got dropped as well. But he's on, and he scored a goal and a point. Yeah, but that's a, you know, to me, that's at least three points that have come directly from mistakes by the Gal Galway. You know, they gave away a ball to Henry Shefton earlier, another one there, great catcher by Niall Burke. So good in the air. Back to Irlitanian, into space here, a lot of Kilkenny players there, however. That's fumbled by Michael Fennelly, scoops it back nonetheless. Once again, Jackie Tyrrell getting it out here. JJ Delaney helping it forward, a couple of players almost messing up 
that situation and Tommy Welch eventually getting it downfield beautifully caught again here by Walter Welch a point scorer already in here as far as Oil Larkin Larkin dragged down there by the corner the uh, halfback Niall Donoghue and it's going to be a free in and Galway's defence in serious trouble with the sheer movement of this Kilkenny attack ruthlessly taking it forward that's a yellow card there against uh, Niall Donoghue yeah, but it, it's really the you know, the power of Walter Walsh there. He's keeping Johnny Cohn completely out of the game. Uh, he's scored a point already and he's been fouled for that free and he's doing very, very well. But all the Kilkenny forwards Ger, have really upped their game since the last day and you know, there's much more life in Richie Power. Owen Larkin's been in the game. Uh, they're all in the game, really, all the forwards and playing well. Four points for Henry Shefflin now three of them coming from frees. And it's Kilkenny by three once again. How they have recovered from those two goals inside a minute. 60 minutes, David Burke. 70 minutes, David Burke. Once again, it's going to be James Skell from Capitagal, the 24-year-old, born the year that Galway last won the All-Ireland, 1988. That's out by Tony O'Gregan. Here as far as David Collins, experienced player. Tanya now, looking to exert the kind of influence he exerted here three weeks ago, that's JJ Delaney bundled off it there by David Burke. Back to help out is Paul Murphy. A storming match in the drawn game. Huge one downfield again. Donahue's under it, so too Richie Parr breaks it into the centre. Henry Shefflin takes it. Shefflin sees a player loose inside him and finds him, finds him brilliantly. And it's Walter Welsh, and that one has gone over the bar. A second point for big Walter Welsh, the UCD student, and uh, Brian Cody rubbing his hands with some delight. That decision to play him has been a very successful one, but it was the pass that made it possible for Walter That's Welsh. That's it, division there, you know, uh, it was David Collins got caught in two minds, didn't know whether to go to Henry Shefflin or not. He gained possession and, you know, a lovely ball straight into Walter Welch's hand, he couldn't miss. This puck out again has gone to a Kilkenny player and they're back once again, ruthlessly storming forward. Henry Shefflin, over! Five for Henry Shefflin. Well, this man gave one of the greatest performances ever in an All-Ireland hurling final in the second half last time, and he's doing something similar here. Yeah, he's drifting left and right, you know, he's dictating the game, a brilliant score again there, but Galway, look, they need to really now win a bit of possession around the half-forward line and get into this game. You know, they got 